Hi guys, uh, how's it going? Um, today, I'm coming to talk to you about a uh, video that I watched last week in American History class. Um, it, it focused on a story from the 1999, from 1999, um, on the murder of a homosexual by the name of Billy Jack Gaither. Uh, the, the video was titled Assault on Gay America. It was produced by Frontline. Um, it was produced during a time when hate crimes were becoming very known to the worldwide media. Um, this event was documented because of everything that built up. Everything had built up to this big event, and it just got the most media attention. Basically, what happened is a man by the name of Billy Jack Gaither um, met up with a friend, and they picked up another friend and planned to go into the woods and have a couple drinks and just have a good time. Um, the One of the men knew that he was gay, and he said he was fine with it. They had the mutual consent that nothing would happen that night. The other man said that as he was going along in the car ride, he could tell that he was gay, but that he didn't feel like anything would happen. Either way, they both said that he came on to them in a sexual manner that they did not approve of, and therefore they killed him. Um, when they were interviewed on this Frontline production, they said that they were doing the Word of God. Um, it is said in the Bible, in numerous different verses, that having a homosexual act is wrong. Um, Leviticus 18.22 says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind. As with womankind, it is an abomination. Um, this is one of many, many verses that state that being or having a homosexual act is wrong. But it also says in the Bible, one of the Ten Commandments, that thou shalt not kill. So you can't really justify killing a man because he's homosexual by saying I'm doing the word of God. Because the word of God also says don't kill someone. So it's, it's a contradiction. You can't really do that. Also, uh, they interviewed a psychologist um, who said that homophobia as we know is a negative attitude or negative feeling towards a homosexual someone may have these negative feelings um, but he also said that it's a possibility that someone is having issues with the feelings in their own self and they may be trying to hide a sexual feeling or feelings that they're having and they don't know how to control it and in society at that time and still in society today it is looked down upon to be homosexual. Um, having a homosexual act is really looked down upon. And to prove that you're not a homosexual, you have to be a man, manly. You have to be big, strong, show no emotions, such things like that. And they interviewed some students, college students, and just people that were walking by. And people have had admitted, yeah, I, I beat up on homosexual in, a, in front of a group of people because I wanted to show that I was a man. Because if I didn't, they might think that I'm gay or that I'm homosexual. And it, it really caught my attention that people do things like this just to fit in. To fit into a group. Because society says that being a homosexual is wrong. It's, it's, not, it's not right of us to judge what's right and what's wrong. We can have our opinions, but keep your opinion to yourself. There's no need to kill someone because they're homosexual. I don't think that being homosexual is a choice made. I believe that it is I believe that it is a that you are not I don't want to say born that way, but it's not a choice that you make. You don't just wake up one day saying, "Hey, I'm I'm homosexual. This is what I'm going to do." These are feelings that you have. They're uncontrollable feelings. It's just like a man having feelings for a woman. You don't force yourself to have these feelings. They just come about. So it's 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 crazy that this this type of thing still goes on today. And I feel like even though people say they're doing the word of God, God didn't write the Bible. Men just like me and you wrote the Bible. They say that they're speaking the word of God, but there's may not be any truth to that. I I can't judge that. I don't know the answer to that, but it's a possibility that what they wrote was not the word of God. Also, God, in the end, is the final judge. And what we do in our lives may determine where we are put in the end, whether that be heaven or hell. And being a homosexual is not, is not a problem. I don't believe it's an, a problem. And us judging or killing or beating up or calling a homosexual out of his name 
is, is not right. It's it's just putting a bad mark on our position in life. I think that people just need to go about and live their lives as they want to live it. If if a homosexual accepts themselves as a homosexual, I think that America, which is supposed to be one of the, the best places to live where everyone is accepting and it's just oh so lovely and everyone gets the equal opportunity and you know the pursuit of happiness, well then it should be equal for everyone. Everyone should be able to pursue happiness, and homosexuals can't pursue happiness if someone is always on their back about them being homosexual. I, I just believe that it's it's not right for us to do that. And, you know, it's it's terrible that Billy Jack Gaither had to die because he was said to have been a great man who did anything for anyone if he could. But I believe that it also it, it's an eye-opener for, for people. I think people need to sit back sometimes and really think about what they're doing before they do it. Um, some things you say, some things you do, you can't take back. And, and, and you may regret what you've done. I say let God be the judge. We we are God's people, but we don't have the right to do his work. His work is his work. We need to stay in our positions as as humans and live our lives. Let let everyone live their own life, lead, lead their own way if homosexuals like I said accept themselves let it be and you know be happy for them support them in, in their journey there's there's really nothing else that you should do besides support them um, and if you if you really if you're hiding if you're in in fear of what people may think of you because you're having these feelings for another man or if you're a woman and having them for another woman you know if if you have someone to talk to let it out you know you have to be comfortable with someone because you always need someone I believe in your life that you can sit down and talk to and have a conversation with no matter what it's about just in case you know you don't you don't want to hold this inside because there are plenty of stories where people have committed suicide because they're they're holding something in and their suicide letter says that you know I just I couldn't get this out I, I didn't know what to do so I really think that people need to be more accepting in society and stop the harsh judging I mean it's it's not necessary it's it's insane that people really are still, in 2012, judging one another like they do. Everyone will have an opinion, but but the the killing and the beating up and the name calling, I don't, I don't think that is at all necessary. So I just I think people need to to take a step back and, and you know think about think about it. I mean that's honestly what we need to do, and uh, that's all I have for you tonight. Um, thank you for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed it.